Yeah, fam. Listen, there's certain people that might be around us and you, you will tell them, oh, I want to live in this area and this nice big house and stuff. And they will tell, and they will tell you, you know, you, you, can't, you ain't going to be able to afford to buy a house there. Yeah. Well, I say before, if you want to crush a big dream, tell it to a small mind. Yeah. There's people out there. You told you you go and tell someone, oh yeah, in the next 10 years I want to buy my own property for a million pounds out in the country and live in a country house. They'll laugh at you. Yeah, let them laugh. They're laughing at you because they know in their heart they can't do it themselves. Because anyone who's done it before will be like, well, yeah, I've done it before, so therefore it's possible. The reason, the, the, the thing is, right, when people laugh at other people's dreams and they try and crush other people's dreams, it's an insecurity within themselves. They have no self-belief. Yeah? So they're projecting that onto you. It's almost like when you've approached them and you've told them that, yeah, I want to live in a house or I'm, I'm aiming to buy a property that's worth a million pounds in 10 years, for example, yeah? something wild, something crazy, yeah? It's almost as if someone has, it's almost as if you, the person who's telling them about your big dreams, is asking them, do you think you'll be able to buy a property for a million pounds in 10 years? And they're going to say, no way. That's what they think about themselves. Because if you met someone who grew up in a poor, grew up from, grew up from humble beginnings, grew up in a poor family, poor environment, whatever, and they made something of themselves and, you know, they own their own property, that's worth five million pounds, whatever. If you told them, yeah, in 10 years time, I want to buy my own property for a million pounds, they'll say, yeah, it's possible because they know it can be done. They've done it themselves. Anyone who doesn't have any self-belief, when someone else comes with those big dreams and ambitions and that, they just write them off straight away because it's an insecurity within themselves. I've seen man on YouTube talking about, I've seen man on YouTube, right, talking about, um, stop all this buying um, mortgage and properties, buying into the white man's world. What the fuck are you talking about, fam? Are you serious, fam? Are you serious, fam? A man that said, don't, um, ah, uh, don't, don't, don't be getting into this mortgage thing and buying into the white man's world or whatever. What are you talking about, bro? But that's a man who's not looking to buy his own property. Yeah? Now, unless, because there's certain people that don't want to do mortgages or take out loans because for religious reasons, innit? I get that. That's cool, innit? Yeah. If you're Muslim, they don't believe in um, taking out loans, innit? Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But if you're just saying that, and you, there's no reasoning behind it. But you, you don't believe in yourself that you can say what to buy a property. Yeah. I guarantee you, anyone who says, oh, buying into the white man's world, fuck all this mortgage bullshit, I guarantee they're living at their parents' house. I guarantee you, yeah, they don't own their own property outright in cash. Yeah. They don't own their own property outright in cash. 